I did consider it, but admittedly, I should have thought about it more. Mm. I was very distressed and, and angry about the whole situation. And, but I think we can overcome that with a little bit of work and planning. I think it'll be okay. That's part of why this all happened. It's a family secret. I'm glad it's coming out. And there's other things that need to come out too. Why were you not concerned about her when she was three instead of now when the tape has come out? Are you just concerned now that because you didn't see the tape until now, mm -hmm. but you were there? That's a very good point. Um, I have been concerned about my daughter, my other daughter, very much so. But I'm up against a judge. Mm -hmm. um, I was threatened by him to have her taken away from me, and the threat has never left. It's been constant. It's been, yeah. it's been increasing. <clears throat> I've received the text, the threatening text, that she talks about. I've received threatening emails. Um, it's been an, a, ver a very abusive situation since I left the marriage also. She says to you in a text message, uh, you call me abusive among other things in a public forum and have been rude and ungrateful. I'm done with you as long as you behave this way and it goes on. And you say do anything like that and I will release a video to the public of you beating the <laughs> out of me. To which he says, sounds like blackmail. That's a crime too. You just made things way worse by making threats like that. Please do it if you think it will make you feel better. You've hardly ever been spanked, but obviously should have been. Um, Denial. That's, that's what the it sort is. Of things Don't I forget get. to mention when your mother was slapping you in the face too, and I stopped the abuse. Mm. There is something wrong with your behavior. You should get it checked. And you said, hardly ever been beaten, huh? And at that moment, the video went public <coughs> on YouTube. Um, that's when the, you decided to, to That's when I decided. Up. I felt like he was challenging me because he, didn't, he thought he was infallible, that the video wouldn't show anything. And uh, when he mentions that, don't forget the time where your mother hit you and I stopped her, that's because both my mother and I were victims, but we didn't really know the extent of it. All we knew that the mother was very frustrated with the way my dad was pressuring her to discipline me. He favored extreme corporal punishment, and sometimes she did lose her temper and hit me. And I remember once she shoved me against the wall, and, and we both stopped because we knew something had crossed the line during that argument. Well, my father appeared in the hallway and said, he said, hit her again. He egged her on. But then other times, he would stop her and be the good guy. It was extreme manipulation. We didn't know what was going to happen. We'll be right back. I have a 10-year-old daughter. I'm concerned because of an incident where he had used the same sort of words that he had used against Hillary. The question that he wanted to ask was, mm -hmm. were there red marks on your legs and broken blood vessels and then directed to you, if she was injured, why didn't you record that and why didn't you take her to the doctor? I really wish I could have thought of that. Now that you've mentioned that, I should have recorded the injuries. I'm sorry that I didn't because that would that would be even more proof. Mm -hmm. I was in denial, extreme denial, in the fact that he wanted to treat Hillary like that. I, I just kind of went into an out-of-body sort of deal. And yeah. also, if I'd gone to the doctor, they would have asked me, well, mm -hmm. why do you have all these bruises up and down your legs? And mm -hmm. we weren't supposed to talk because that's how we, an abusive situation works. We did not works. talk about it. Would you have thought it appropriate for them to turn you in and allow you to be prosecuted at the time for computer crimes? Um, well, I mean, of course, back then I was a teenager. I thought I was, I thought I was invincible. It's like, no, that's not a crime. They can't do that to me. <laughs> also, there were, you know, millions of other people doing it.